for a little too long and now my my hands are freezing. Ooh. Isn't this trippy? <laughs> Good morning, everyone. This is Ivan, and welcome back to the uh, Ivan Rides YouTube channel. It's a cold day, as you guys can see. I got my uh, makeshift winter gloves here because I lost my winter gloves. So we just took our riding gloves and put the uh, these warmer gloves on top. So we're gonna try and stay warm today despite the, the cold. So this is a commute to work video we're taking one of the longer routes to the city so if it's your first time or whether you're returning or a first timer sit back enjoy the video uh, we are going to be commuting through Queens and Brooklyn into Manhattan today because uh, we haven't done this route in a while so for those of you that have always been curious as to what it's like to navigate one of the most congested cities on the planet, this is it. This is a, a commuting video where you join me and for this series uh, we'll either do a round trip commute or a one way commute. And today is going to be one of those one way commutes because this is going to be a uh, about a 30 minute long commute into the city. Thank you for joining me on this ride today. I appreciate y'all. For the returning subscribers, thank you for your support. If you're new, welcome to the channel. So the great thing about uh, commuting today, ooh, Scooty, is it is a Saturday. So Saturdays can be hit or miss as far as traffic is concerned, but generally the roads are open like this. So the one thing about working on a Saturday is it sucks because you're working on a Saturday. But the plus of working on a Saturday is you get these roads to yourself and you don't get as much uh, congestion. But as always, when it comes to traffic in New York, you can never really tell As you can see today, accompanying us on this commute is the NAMI Burn E. Um, it's been a while since I've taken this, this scooter out.
So interesting thing about this route is I started taking this route to the city about a year ago to as a way to clear my mind prior to working you know kind of resetting yourself I really uh, in the line of work that I'm in where you're constantly client facing you kind of had to get yourself in the proper mindset every day or else you just can't do your job and uh, I started taking this route because it gave me the opportunity to to do that and I actually found this route when uh, by accident actually I don't want to say by accident it's a uh, uh, by I would say as an alternative route to my usual route when I was still riding my EUC because they set up checkpoints in Manhattan in order to catch the mopeds but the illegal mopeds but for us we were just kind of bundled in with it the crazy thing during that time was anyone on an EUC a big scooter or, and some e-bikes and uh, e-skateboards were getting tickets. So, yeah, I found this route then. And the cool thing about this route is, as you guys can see, we can really, uh, we can really open it up here. There's very few areas in New York where the NAMI can really, really shine as far as uh, getting a chance to go into some of its higher speeds. And the crazy thing about the NAMI is even at like 30 plus miles an hour, if you squeeze that, if you squeeze that throttle, it's still gonna spin out the front wheels. Oh, that wasn't even on 100%. Of the motor. So yeah, uh, when I was riding this route on the EUC, I would just think to myself like, man, this is a long route. Why do I got to go all the way through Brooklyn? just so I can ride my EUC to work. Especially because they weren't stopping, you know, the, the cyclists, the city bikers and the spandex jockeys that were running the reds that were going 30 miles an hour in the bike lane, pretending like they're in Tour de France or something. It's like, come on, man. You are on a commuter's bridge here in New York you're not on no Tour de France. But, of course, NYPD was uh, trying to make a point at that time, so... I got two tickets. Uh, I tried to fight one of them, lost, ended up paying the, the fine, and then I paid the second fine. Unfortunately, I did get some points off of my license because of that, but uh, I still do want to ride the EUC. So we are now cutting through Brooklyn, for those of you that are uh, kind of keeping track of the boroughs. We will be at the Williamsburg Bridge in a couple of minutes here. And one of you asked me why 
we go on the on the the walk signal in the bike lane uh new york city there's a lot of signs that say uh we follow the the walk signal for the bike lane when crossing uh sometimes we're just loopholing because just like these pedestrians uh i kind of grew up in new york city and i don't ever remember to be honest with you waiting for the walk signal as a pedestrian so yeah loopholing is pretty is a pretty normal thing here in new york We do have to be careful during this portion of the commute because as, um, as you can see, farmer's market, pedestrians, and random cars. Uh, we actually dodged a door a little earlier. But as long as we get around this guy here, we're fine. So, back on track. So, if you've made it this far into the video, um, I wanted to leave these videos at a longer length because I wanted you to see the extent of the commute and kind of get kind of the full experience. Uh, I really minimally edit the videos uh, especially the only times that I really do is if I'm stuck at a light for significant for a significantly long time of course I'll, I'll cut that out because no one wants to see anyone waiting at the red light but if you want me to edit these videos a little bit more let me know in the comments down below and I will edit them a little bit more. Just like the way I respect my client's time at work, I respect your time and would love to hear your your input. We are now approaching uh, the Williamsburg Bridge here. This is the bridge that takes us into Manhattan from Brooklyn. And my freaking hands <laughs> are frozen. I have to get myself proper riding gloves. Um, I was being a little too cheap, trying to see how long I can hold out. And I held out for a little too long. And now my, my hands are freezing. Isn't this trippy? <laughs> yeah, well, we're gonna we're gonna cut it back here a little bit. This this is the benefits of the uh, <laughs> a cold day and empty bike lane. Right here, next to the train. day here in New York. Oh man.
riding can be pretty therapeutic like this. Uh, you're, you're in nature, enjoying it, but only... You can really, en you can rarely enjoy New York like this as far as taking the, the subway. One of the ways of grow, uh, one of the ways that's growing in popularity as far as uh, tourists to view Manhattan is they'll they'll rent one of the one of the bikes or they'll rent one of the scooters to get around. I mean, this is a hell of a way to experience Manhattan here in New York City in general. traffic. What is this coming? Hey, hey, an onyx. Very nice. NYPD. will move a little faster. The only thing about going up, uh, this is, uh, so this is the east side, uh, guys, for, for those of you that uh, aren't in New York, we are on one of the avenues that runs north on, on the east side of Manhattan. So the thing with this avenue is the potholes are generally gigantic so we have to be very cautious as the Nami's wheels are only 11 inches a small pothole gave me a flat I broke my rim before when I was running very low PSI to give me a lot more traction and a lot more of a comfortable ride. So the one thing I did realize about the Nami is you gotta run the tires a little bit harder than than the suggested PSI for for the PMT tires because if you hit a pothole you need some uh, you need some of that cushion to protect you from from a flat or a broken rim. You know, you don't have to, but it helps. That's why you guys see me kind of like weaving the scooter around even these manhole covers, because you'll never know. Also, if that shit opens, <laughs> I am not falling through there and then flying off of my scooter into traffic. Nope. Not today. Not today. The crazy 
crazy thing is, we're, we're um, making a really good progress uh, as far as the community today. We are flying. And here we are on the east side. This is the United Nations. It's where all the delegates come and uh, cause traffic, you know. Got a little bit of a tunnel coming up here that we are going to be flying through. Times, like I said, you can open up the NAMI in the, in the city, and this is one of those chances. And with that, we are in Midtown, Midtown East. We're now a couple blocks away from work, so everyone, thank you for accompanying me on this commute to work video. I truly appreciate you. If you liked what you saw, please consider giving this video a thumbs up. I almost died for that thumbs up. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Let me know <laughs> in the comments down below what you think. And if you really enjoy the content, please consider subscribing to the channel and hitting that bell notification so that you'll be notified anytime I release one of these videos. I hope you like the camera angle for today. Uh, I hope you like the sound quality. We've been working on that a lot. Other than that, we are officially here. Thank you, everyone. It's been a pleasure having you on this commute. I appreciate you, and I'll see you on the next ride. Peace.